Guys, this is a 1989 Chevy Suburban that has been abandoned right here for I don't know how many years. It doesn't have a motor, transmission, anything like that. The brakes are completely disassembled on the back of this thing. But let me show you this. This sucker is absolutely full of parts, dude. Like you could almost build a whole other truck with the stuff that's in here. Just take a look at that right there, dude. So many parts. I have, honestly, no idea what's in here. But it's been abandoned for a long time. Hadn't seen the road in a long time. So here's the catch. Our challenge is to get this joker back running and driving in the next 24 hours, which means we got to put a motor, transmission, and everything in this joker, dude. Yeah. And you know what the best part about this truck is? Or I say truck. I mean, long SUV. Suburban. The paint on it is immaculate. For as long as it's been sitting here, yeah, this oh. thing is absolutely solid. I want to say it's been sitting in this spot right here for probably four years. My papa bought it just a little bit before he passed away. Never got to do anything with it. So our, our goal is to get it back going and actually do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So step one is to get this on a trailer. <laughs> We struggling just a little what happened this sucker's heavy no it ain't <laughs> it what do you mean oh my gosh <laughs> apparently this tractor hasn't been running a while so uh, high idle pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> i'm limited on my control yeah and on battery juice and on battery juice so here's hoping it starts Well, this was supposed to be easy. <laughs> you know, 24 hour challenge is going to be getting this sucker cranked. <laughs> About to turn into Hank Hamilton. Will it start? <laughs> I need a wheelie truck. I mean, that is, it's a wheelie tractor. Got some wheels in the truck, put them on the back. Joker rolls like a dream now. Yeah, the whole issue was the rear end was in the ground. Drag it on the ground. So it'll move now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and back the truck down here, get those ramps down. We forgot a battery for the winch. Anyway, so yeah, luckily that box blade touches the, the hit, the width of that, the hitch. The, the frame and the hitch just <laughs> yeah. right. So we'll get the ramps lined up and everything. You can steer it, and I think we'll be able just to push it up on the trailer and then set it down. I think we should be good, and then we'll just take it yeah. real easy headed home. So we made it. We did. It was stressful full-blown chore but we got it in here and let me tell you with that suspension flexing like it is no tires on the back nothing like that that made things a lot more difficult than it absolutely yeah made. it would have probably been easier if we just went to a junk car and found one with, with tires on it it would have but you know what it's fine that rear end's got to come out and stuff so it's all it's all good we picked up a 12 bolt last night that's going to go under this thing but we also went and picked up this morning this big block 454 450 Oh. All the cubic inches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is supposed to be a really low mile big block that came out of, I want to say they said an RV. I couldn't so remember. I'm not sure 100%, but last I remember, I believe they said 50,000 miles is what was on it. I'm not sure, obviously, but I can tell you that everything looks fairly clean from what I can see. The cam doesn't look worn or anything like that from what I can see, but we haven't tore into this thing, so we have no idea. It's been sitting for a very, very long time, so obviously it's dusty. It's a little bit dirty. But we got fresh Chevy orange paint on the block. You know what I'm saying? You know it's going to be good. The only you know issue it's is it's going to be orange in a blue truck. And it's I just, okay. It's Chevy orange. Yeah, but that's a Gators color, it's, brother. It's fine. Nobody, I mean, we're going to dress it up. It's going to look good. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We might even put a fresh, fresh coat of paint on it before we get started too deep. I, don't know. I like you know, that orange, though. I, don't, yeah, I do, too. I do, too. That Chevy orange is sweet. Plus, I think we'll be able to wipe it, wipe it down and get it good and clean and all that stuff. So... We need to take inventory of what parts are in here. I know we ordered a brand new distributor and a brand new intake, so we had those on standby just in case we needed them. 
and it's a high rise intake, so it's gonna look real cool, you know what I mean? So <laughs> race car motor. Intake, race car motor. <laughs> got that intake. We got a good Edelbrock carburetor that we had gone through, so we're good there. So we have everything we need, I believe, to put this thing together, except for a starter. I looked in there, noticed that the mounts for the engine are not in here, so we're gonna have to get those that go on the engine cross member right there. But good news is that the steel mounts are actually still on the block. So all we need is the frame mounts that go in here and we'll be able to put the engine right down in here, bolt it in place. We also have the good old Turbo 400 that came out of our parts truck a long time ago when we got rid of that 454. I almost oh, wish yeah. we would have kept it now. Yeah, because we would have had two of them. We would have had two of them. We could have built another one while we were running this one. You know True. what I'm saying? But it's all good. We got the, four, the 400 there. So honestly, this combo right here with the, with the big block and that Turbo 400, I think is going to be absolutely nasty in this thing, especially since it's going to be something you can just kind of get in and drop around. You know what I'm saying? Brother, this is a party wagon. Party wagon. We also haven't inventoried the parts in here, so we have we, no idea. We just know there's here. a bunch. I know we glance. There's some door panels and stuff like that in here. There's some... How about some good old cat eye parts? Uh, get rid of those. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get, that is the ugliest thing GM ever did. Yeah, and they're on our Duramax too, which on we need to get rid of. <laughs> Those all day long. Got us a good set of was that long, long tube small block headers, brother? They ain't gonna fit on a big block. No, but we can put them on something else. You know That's true. I mean? We got a plenty of stuff over there. Plenty of small blocks. So hey, we got another square body down there that might get one. We don't know yet, you know? Got a good set. There's two of those in here. A good set of those. And it looks like we got another oh, it's, a brake. it's got brake fluid in it. Starter! Starter! Got there's a starter right there too, bro. Yeah, I don't know. This one's not froze up. What about There's this? That. I don't know about that one. I think that one's up, but <laughs> it, it might be. That one might be shot, but hey, that still got brake fluid, so we probably don't need to do that. You don't turn it over. Did that say Willwood? Did it? No, it didn't. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. <laughs> we we ain't that lucky. Yeah. Got the gauge cluster here. That's in good shape. The ears aren't broke off of it. Or that anything. is surprising. Like that. That's good. Looks like the dash bezel here. Careful, careful. Oh, dude, I didn't even know the grill's in here. Yeah, the gr that one's a little rough, though. I don't know. We'll Still a grill, though. We'll take a look at some things and see what we want to do with that. I don't really know what that is. Some sort of fuel cell that would go somewhere else. Put in the Chevelle. I mean, that'd be kind of sick. I don't know. It has a pest. That thing's big. All the fuel. But some... mean, hey, we got us a set of cherry bombs, my dude. <laughs> so good. Cherry? Let's just take them, put them off the headers, stick it right out of the hood, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to the early 2000s back with that one. Early 2000s. <laughs> Man, honestly, there is just a whole bunch more stuff in there. that We're just we're going to have to empty this thing to figure out what all we got. Got the drive shaft. Hey, that's there. a bell housing. There's a bell housing. Not sure what it fits. Looks like we got the drive shaft. Maybe the whole thing. There's three of them. I don't know what's all there, but we got to figure that out. Oh, there's the drums. The brake drums are sitting right there that go on this thing. So we'll have to find out about our brake kit because I do want to put decent brakes on it. Um, I know the rear end's bad because you can get under there, you can spin those wheels, and the, the yoke doesn't move at all. So something's not connected in there. But like I said, we picked up that 12 bolt last night, so it'll bolt right under here so we'll be good to go with that as well as it looks like the fan shroud hanging out in there there's another set of valve covers maybe for a small block i don't think that's that's not big block headers definitely not big block headers but let's move on around and take a look at the front end of this thing so you can move on here dude you can tell looking in here oh dude shut that door again real quick just, just look how straight that straight is straight as an, and, and and dude seriously square body Oh, a little, little uh, harder, but... These things are tanks, so listen, you gotta slam it. Listen how tight, though. That sounds beautiful. What about the front? Tight. Dead. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, but you can take a look up here. Dash pad is a little bit rough. You know, not absolutely terrible, no. but... Doable. Doable. The um, headliner. What is that? Phenomenal hat? shape. Cat eye parts. Wait, I don't, wait, what? I don't know why. Bro. We need one of these. <laughs> if y'all if y'all don't remember our Duramax video, ours is busted. In the cheapest Duramax, it was busted. It's held together with gator tape, but now it's held together with white tape. But now it can have an actual one on it. That's yeah. pretty cool. Sweet. I, that yeah. helps my feelings. Your papa thought ahead for us. Hey man, papa was setting us up and had no idea. Setting us up I mean? for success. Setting us up. Good set of good set of cat eye tail lights. Is it just one or is it there not? Anybody's looking for a set of cat eye tail lights, these are for uh, sale. Low wait. price forty nine ninety five. Okay, I'll take off ninety five cent for the uh <laughs> the, the damage there. So forty nine dollars even for sale. You know what I'm saying? Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I think that's a killer deal. I, I think, think so too. You, you go pick and pull they want to charge you a hundred dollars for a set of tail lights. It's ridiculous. That have cracks in it. That yeah. one don't have cracks. So 
Anyway, look at this seat, dude. Look how good of shape the seat is in. It looks like, honestly, it looks like nobody ever sat in that. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's just a shadow. Yeah, that thing that's is good clean, shape, brother. Dude. Good shape. Got a little throttle cable there. We're going to need that, hopefully, I think, probably. <laughs> Red sun visors for a blue interior. Red sun visors. We'll put that in something else, maybe. I don't know. Um, got a carburetor here, dude. Oh, two carburetors. Oh, let me open up the door. There's some door panels for this oh, thing. More red parts. More red parts. You know what? I bet those go to my papa's other square body. The one that he bought when he bought this one. The black one? Yep. I bet it goes to that. Um, but yeah, dude. Look. If I can get it out of here. It's a little tight. A little tight. A little tight. A little tight. I... Wait. There's two of them right there. Carburetor. Looks like actually. There's another carburetor. Yeah, yeah. There's another one down there's there. There's a carburetor there. Not going to use that one. Not going to use that over there either. Oh, hi, Cody. Uh, he was here. Nobody knew it. Anyway, <laughs> carburetors. I got it. So, uh, also, <laughs> brother. Steering column for our steering square column. body. And, and that was tight, not loose. So, <laughs> I'm glad we're putting the, putting the steering column in the square body. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got keys in it. What? Even better. But the ignition switch is cheap. Probably going to put a new one in it anyways. Um, just plus, I mean, we got a good one in our steering column somewhere. Yeah. So, anyway, not a bad deal. We've got all kind of parts. There's probably... Plenty more in here that we just don't know about. We uh, need to take everything out. What are you? What? Oh, that's another block mount. I wish the, I wish the frame mounts were in here. Really, really badly. I wish they were. But I mean, they could be. They might I be. I mean, there's a box right here. I don't know what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, that's lights. More for lights. Okay. Actually, oh, we move our move our red sun visors here. Let's take a look in this box. See what's in the box. See what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh. All right. So, what is that? Uh, I don't know what that is. Hood latch. Yeah. Hood latch, some more wiring, marker lights. Honestly, I think this is parts for this truck and the one that um, that my papa bought, the other square body. I think this is parts for all of that. So, uh -huh. we've just got a whole bunch of parts, which we're going to be going and getting his other truck. There's lease springs. Huh. More, I bet. So, with his other truck, somebody had took the half-ton suspension out from under. It's a single cab, short wheelbase. They took the, the half-ton suspension out and put one-ton stuff under it. So it's a single cab, short wheelbase, dually. So that's probably the factory stuff out of that. Yeah, that's probably going to be the next one we bring here. We're going to go get it probably really, really soon, actually, because my nanny's trying to clean up the property there, um, and so we got to get some stuff moved. So anyway, we're going to go over there probably and get that real, real soon. But, dude, we've just got, just got so many parts in here that... You know, that I know we can use and we need, but dude, it's just, it's a lot. There's a shift linkage. We need that. Definitely need that. That's, um, that's beneficial. We'll put that there since we've already found it. But with that said, um, I guess we need to call. <laughs> I, it's funny, bro. It's <laughs> funny. You're laughing at me. Anyway, I guess we need to call Clouds and uh, see about those frame mounts. We need to go ahead and get the stuff for an oil change because I do want to change the oil in that. Um, but honestly, we've got a starter. We'll test that. Other than that, dude, I think we're we're and intake gaskets. But I think we're, other than that, we're pretty much ready to start getting ready to throw the motor in this thing so we can get it started. Well, you know, I went inside to go change the batteries on my GoPro and I come back out and what did you tell me? Um, I called Clouds and they did not have the motor mounts in stock nor the intake gaskets. So uh, we're not gonna start the 24 hour timer yet. We're gonna wait till we we, we need the parts to be able to do that. We have the parts, but we have a bigger issue. There's a bigger issue. When I came outside, you and Cody were both disappointed. And I said, hey, <laughs> the motor's locked up. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me the starter was bad. Yeah, well, I don't know. The starter might still be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the starter ain't going to do no good anyways if no, the motor's locked. Dude, I'm talking, when I say it's locked, brother, let me just put the pry bar on it. That thing ain't budging, so. It's locked. Guys, you know, you, you can typically, you know, move it. Yeah, it's locked. I put um, I put a socket on the harmonic balancer bolt too. Nothing. Nothing. So again, this thing has been sitting in one spot for about four ish years. So it's 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 probably stuck. I mean that's fine. What happens is sometimes those pistons will freeze up in the uh, or the rings will freeze up in the piston. And if that's the case, fine. You know we might be able to put some transmission fluid in there, let it sit, and then it break loose. But. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, there's like. When do we officially start the 24 hour period? Yeah, that's a good when question. When I have stuff and I start putting it together. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if that does anything. I don't know if it does. I'm so scared right now. Yeah, that's a. Uh, 
No bueno. And no bueno. No bueno. Uh, where's my other, uh, hey, post clamps. Hey, Thank you. post clamp. Post clamp. By the way, if you don't have battery terminals, post clamps. <laughs> post clamps. I ain't gonna go nowhere. Cody started talking smack because I didn't have any vice grips. You know, because I said I have real tools. I don't need vice grips. <laughs> As he was looking for vice grips. As I was looking for vice grips. <laughs> <laughs> so, in good Coop's House fashion, we found an alternative. I have an alternative. A better one. Hose clamps. What is that? <laughs> what is that Jack Sparrow said? You can have that chip. That chip. No, a better one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Hopefully, we get some power hooked to this. Hopefully, the starter works. And then, hopefully, we can get the motor loosened up. And hopefully, we can do that before the parts get here. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, have everything ready so when the parts get here, we can start putting this thing together. Because once, once we actually get started working on this thing, actually, I guess technically we should have started the timer now, not since this is an issue. <laughs> that kind of would be cool. Oh, you, know, no. you know what? We're doing it. We're, do we're starting the timer right now. Start the timer right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you. I'm setting the timer. Setting the timer right now. Let's see. Let's see. How do I do this? I was just gonna oh. say it's four. How about you just turn your stopwatch on? We're just gonna say it's four. How do I what? How about you buy, stopwatch? Yeah, just turn the stopwatch on. I mean, but it's not just not the same, you know. Just say it's I'm four gonna... p.m. You literally have an hour for the hour right now. Here we now. go. I'm gonna set it for twenty three fifty nine. Fifty nine. Timer starts now. Smells fiery. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Who said I'm not smart? Who said, who said I'm not smart? Not me. And well, me. I'm a genius. Yeah, I wouldn't get that far, pal. You're, you're, <sighs> you're a genius, is Shelly. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Take two. Now let's free it up a little bit more. I think. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That was progress. That was progress. I felt some air out of the exhaust. Okay, oh, God. Ooh. Don't do that. <sighs> let's try. Once it gets past this, see right there? Then, I'll get started. There you go. There you go, she's freaking out, sort of. Okay, all right. Now, what do we, look, we got a little bit of oil right there out of the spark plug hole. Sweet. <laughs> Did it spit on you? There's oil. <laughs> do it again. Nice. Yeah, boy. There's spitting oil everywhere. <laughs> Dripping off my pants. <laughs> but hey, hey, it ain't still. No? Flywheel looked a little off balance, but. Yeah, flywheel, I think, is dead. Yeah. Um, Which, potentially my fault. It might be, but it's not hard to come by, so. No. We'll, uh, we'll find one. It took us a couple of days, but we finally got all of our parts in. We have accumulated truck parts. Pretty much everything that I think it's going to take to get that motor to start right up. We had a couple of issues, so they ordered the wrong parts. We asked for intake gaskets, they ended up getting this exhaust gaskets, which is a happy win, I guess, because we ended up needing some anyway. We got our intake gaskets in finally, as well as a new water pump, intake, distributor, new motor mounts, fuel pump, because we found out that our manual fuel pump is actually uh, busted. So we got a new one of those to go right on the block. So I guess next thing for us to do, brother, is just go ahead and start bolting some of this stuff on, and it's gonna be ready to sit this joker and the transmission down in the truck.
Well, pal, that thing's about 14 foot in the air. It is. We have worked our butts off the last little bit. Got the transmission bolted up, got the motor mounts in the truck, water pump is on, intake is on, all that good stuff. We made a little bit of a mistake, so it's gonna keep us from actually getting to start the truck tonight, which is gonna put us behind because we're supposed to release this video tomorrow, so I apologize to you guys right now. It's gonna be Sunday instead of Saturday. Well, we are going to get this video out to you guys and at least get this thing to fire up. Yeah, so we do everything real time too, so we don't film like weeks of ahead. Nope, so we this don't is film ahead. This is <laughs> happening right now. This is Friday night. The video will be coming out on Sunday. So we video, we film as we go. But let me show you guys what I did here. So, from my knowledge, most of the time you can take off if it's like a cooler or something like that or a heater, you can take it off and then typically it's threaded up in there so that you can put a filter right up there, but this wasn't the case with this engine. That oil cooler actually has to stay on there and that's what the filter mounts to. So I've got a set of gaskets coming tomorrow to be able to put that thing back on there like it's supposed to be so we can get the filter on there. But we figured we would go ahead instead of waiting and doing it outside the truck, we'd go ahead and get it in there, get it set in there so that we can just put that on tomorrow and then go ahead and do an oil change. We'll be good to go, but we can go ahead and get it in there and get our distributor set in place. So with that being said, we're gonna jack this thing up just a little bit more. Hunter, you're gonna come over here and kind of lift up, or I can do this however. We're gonna lift up the transmission because I don't know how much higher this is gonna go and set it over the top of the uh, core support so we can go ahead and start kind of easing this thing yeah. down in there. Luckily, we ain't, got, we ain't got too much to lift up. No, basically. Because you, you could pick that up just over that. Yeah, basically once it comes up level, it's fine because we got a sweet little lift plate right here. I've never had one of those before, but that's awesome. It better it, it beats having a chain, you know, that goes from there to there and it can potentially scratch the intake. Exactly. So it's just definitely a lot better. But anyway, that being said, it's late tonight. Farthest we're gonna get to get this thing set in there, hopefully get the distributor set in place. So that being said, we're gonna get on that right now. And hopefully we got this joker in the truck in just a few minutes. Ain't nothing better than a 454 and a bourbon. Right, brother. We officially have a 454 swap square body suburban, which is absolutely insane, if you ask me. That was kind of sketchy putting it in there. It was a little sketchy. It would have been better if we would have took the core support off. That's too much work. It, it was a lot of work, but it would have. It really would have made things a lot easier. We wouldn't have, you know, scuffed the core support any at all. Luckily, oh man, yeah, that would have been awful. Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. That would have been awful. Anyway, we're not so worried about that, but. <laughs> This choker is set in there. We don't have a transmission cross member. We didn't realize it, but we have one on the parts truck. I'm not going to take it off tonight because I'm scared of the dark and spiders. So I'm not going down there and climbing underneath. <laughs> and the this. grass is about three foot tall it down is there. Tall. So what we'll do tomorrow is we'll go down there and we'll pull out that transmission cross member. And that way the entire drivetrain is bolted in here. And then we really have to hope that our drive shaft that we have for this thing is going to work because I guarantee you this had a turbo 350 in it, it or a 700 yeah. R4. And if it did, that uh, the drive shaft might be a little long. All right, well, we'll just have to see. Well, yeah, we'll have to see and hope for the best. Luckily, we've got the parts truck down there, so maybe we can mix match some pieces if we absolutely have to and get this joker working with the turbo 400 because honestly, this 454 and that turbo 400 is gonna be, it's gonna be a ridiculous combo. You know what I mean? True. And when we talk about the parts truck, it's the parts truck that we actually got the dually fenders off of for this truck. Yep, so it's it's served a purpose. It has served a lot of purpose. So, and it's your truck now, but, you know, we're going to have to build the parts for that later. Yeah, we'll be getting that's going to that's gonna be, we're going to make that to perfection, yeah, brother. and it's going to be way down the road. So yeah. right now we'll rob parts off of it, and we can hate future us for it. But anyway, so what we'll do tomorrow is we'll get back out here. I was going to go ahead and set the timing and stuff on that, but we both just realized that we haven't eaten today. And I, it's, my stomach is yelling at me. Yeah. I, I, the thing is, when we get busy like this, we forget to eat, so it's terrible. But it's 930 at night, and we haven't eaten, so we need to go and take care of that. But again, everything is bolted in here. We get out here tomorrow. We have to pull these valve covers off because it's oh, covered yeah. with a piece of, with a plastic tarp. And so there is some... Yeah, yeah, I noticed a piece when I looked down in there. There's a piece of the yeah, tarp in there. There's some stuff in there. So we'll be taking these valve covers off just to make sure that the valve train and everything is good and clean. There's no trash in there because we don't want that. And then we'll put it all back together. We'll set top dead center. We'll make sure we got our distributor in place. And we also have to go and get some plugs and things for the, the water passages and things like that. So no big deal, but we'll get all that taken care of. And then tomorrow... 
It may be as far as we get. Like I said, we may not actually get to drive this thing like we hoped. But, but hey, as long as we get it far up, that'll be a win in my it'll book. It'll be a win in my book, and we did it in 24 hours having to source ridiculous parts. Actually, and check actually, the timer. Actually, I'm not going to lie. It seems like we haven't done much. We're only sitting at 19 hours. But we have only worked on it today. So that is true. We didn't get to work on it really the other day because we were waiting on all those parts. But we're sitting at 19 hours. The timer's still running. I'm going to stop it, obviously, once we quit working on this thing. Yeah, but so the thing is the 24-hour challenge was not from the day we picked it up to the next day. It was 24 hours in total time. Working on it, yeah. So, again, six hours. Have everything swapped. Motor mounts are good. It's bolted in place. And we have rounded up pretty much all the parts that we need, minus maybe one or two. So, 24 hours. Not going to be a big deal. We probably could have made this a little more interesting and shortened that time, but it's fine. It's fine. We're still working toward 24 hours. But anyway, I'm going to quit talking. We're going to go get some food, get showers, get some rest tonight, because when we get back tomorrow, we're going to focus on getting this thing fired up. And who knows? Maybe we'll put in a little bit of time and get it to move under its own power, but we'll just have to see. But anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm going to get a sandwich. You know, it's been a long day. It has been a long day. It has been a long day. But, we fixed and try to fire this thing. Well, fixed and spin it over with the key. Yeah. The first time. So, after a whole heck of a lot of time looking over wiring diagrams and all that stuff, we figured out what wires are going to be which. So now, we've got the coil wire in, we've got our exciter wire in to the starter. Obviously, this is all temporary. This is the, uh, the uh, constant 12 volt that goes here that supplies power to the inside, as well as our ground. As you can see, we're gonna have to have some battery terminals, but all of that is hooked up just like it's supposed to. So everything is looking pretty good. So what we're gonna do now, I know we still have to put the carburetor on. There's oil in there, all that stuff. But what we're gonna do first, before we actually try to fire this thing, get any fuel in or anything like that, we're gonna get in there, gonna go ahead, spin it over. That way it can build some oil pressure because it's been a long time since there's been any oil ran through this thing or anything like that. So we'll do that first and then we'll bolt the carburetor on there, put a little fuel in it and see if we can get her to fire. And if it fires, that's all that matters, that's all that matters. for now. So it may not run great, but hey, the goal is to get this thing started. The goal is to get it start and dry, which is obviously not gonna happen. But if we can get it to start, that'll be a good thing. Uh, I'm, exci I'm excited. I'm but excited. There's one other thing we have to do, and that's the transmission cool lines. We'll get that in a minute. We'll get yeah. that in a minute. But anyway, I don't know. If you want to go hit the key, we'll see what we got. Ready, dog? Nope. No? There we go. Try it now. <laughs> it spins. <laughs> All right, you're good. That's an old starter, too. That is an old <laughs> starter. So. Yeah, if we put a little bit of fuel in it, we might just get this joker to fire up. Maybe. I don't know. We'll throw the carburetor on real quick and just see what we got. Look at us, about to throw on this whole Eddie Brock. Look at that joker. A little Eddie Brock. Ain't that the one that came off Hank's truck? It is the one that came off Hank's truck. Hank didn't want it, so I had a friend rebuild it. So here we are. <laughs> yeah. It's a motor. It's a motor. It's a motor. All right. Hold on, I know exactly what we need. How do you turn this joke around here?
It's the best station. Yes. Non copyrighted. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You ready? There's gas in it. I don't know. Three. Yep. Two. Yep. One. Woo. How about now? Oh. That didn't work. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> get a little better connection. I'll right, try. Hold up. We're killing it. We need a top post. All right. <laughs> First try? What? Are you kidding me right now? Dude? Hold on, hold on. I can't believe that that worked. I just spit everywhere with excitement. <laughs> Ew. First off, gross. Yeah, that was kind of disgusting. <laughs> Holy cow. I can't believe it did it. That, that's what I'm saying. First time. <laughs> first, first time. Holy cow! Yeah, this oh, is, this is kind of nerve wracking right here. Um, the giant spider. What? What? <laughs> Bro, hold on. Uh, let me let me just do something real quick. Okay, I'll stop the video real quick. Why does it look like a scary movie in here? Most mosquitoes will not be a problem. <laughs> all that was behind me, so I didn't even realize that it was that smoky. Oh, dude, it's smoky. Like, all I see was just the smoke that was right here. I have lots of concerns. Uh, I don't know. You know, this is where we should have a fire extinguisher on hand. We got hand. a water hose. We got two water hoses. We got two so water hoses. Something happens. We'll just run really fast. Yeah. Although, now that you mentioned that, after we finish this video, before we get out here and work on too much more, we will be getting the fire extinguisher. Right? Yeah. We have had a fire out here before. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, it was on the other square, buddy. It was. It was mildly <laughs> concerning. <laughs> Which is kind of weird because, you know, all this is still. Yeah. But, just like anything else we get, it's been sitting out in the woods accumulating a bunch of leaves. It has. So... I don't know. I remember when we first spun this thing over after we got it broke loose, it did have a lot of oil in the cylinders. Yeah. So that could be the reason that it's smoking like it is. Could be. Could be. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh dude, that looks sick. Take two? Take two. You ready? Nervous. <laughs> Woo! Wait. That's loud. That's very loud. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Got again. Oh my dude, it's so loud. Ready? Yep. Go for it. That flywheel's killing us. Go ahead. What was that? That fell, and I think it's broke a sugar. Oh. I have an idea. Hang on. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying to for a little while. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to leave the shop over and overnight, I'm sure. <laughs> that is so wild looking. Oh, we got that fan going because it's a little smoky in here, brother. Yeah. All right, so we have fixed the issue. We do not have a transmission cross member under there, do not. so we it went. It did. So the jet, yeah, the, the jack fell. So that's that's what happened. But take whatever. You ready? Come on with a kill. What was that? It's cool. Huh? It's spitting the old cooling out. Uh oh. I don't know where from though. That's the part that confuses me. 
Said, does the horn work? No. Oh. A little spot in the side of the block that's pulling cooling out of. I don't know what that is. I'll have to find out. Go ahead. Oh my god, you okay? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Just a quick second, get ready to shut it back off. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. You said it one more time the last time. Yeah, I know, this is literally the last time. I just want to see if it'll run for a second. Go ahead. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I won't go out this time. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. You almost killed me. <laughs> it runs. <laughs> it runs, but we do have a little bit of an issue. Well, aside from, you know, all the flames and everything that just happened and the fact we just almost burned down the shop. No big deal. Oh, hold from. on. Be the bad part is we just talked about getting a fire extinguisher before that. We're getting a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Without a doubt, we're getting a fire extinguisher. Uh, but no, so we've got just a little bit of an issue. This is something I didn't know about. I think right there, probably one of those oil cooler lines went in right there and it's broke off. So when this thing cranks up and actually runs, it is pumping oil out of here. And it's just, it's all over the floor. So obviously we don't need to run it because we're running all the oil out of it. And then that's going to be a real problem. But let me just say, this sucker sounds nasty. It almost sounds louder than our Chevelle. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> it, it is, it's so loud. I don't know if there's anything internally done to this thing but it sounds absolutely insane with these open headers dude I, this thing when it's going to be at an idle i bet it's going to sound good it's going to sound good i'm really really excited about getting it to that point like i want to hear it run and run for a long time that's you know right what I'm so this thing's nasty this is going to be this is going to be a fun ride this is going to be a really really fun ride and uh i think it's going to be something that's just going to be sick to drive around just it is because we're going to have uh, that thing that thing, this thing, square body haven around here. Yeah, right. we got the C10 in the back that we're going to eventually do. C10, all that stuff. But obviously, we still have some work to do on this thing. We still got to... It's on me, but I should have tied down the distributor. That needs to be tied down. Obviously, we need to get some lines to run to our fuel pump and run to the uh, carburetor right there so that we can ha actually have a constant fuel supply. I tried to keep it running with the bottle. You see how that went? Yeah. Um, um, you almost, you almost uh, took us both out. But it runs. And I know we were trying to do this in 24 hours. I plan on trying to do it in 24 hours straight, but we didn't. The timer is currently running, and we have got this thing running with four hours, four and a half hours to spare. Four hours, 28 minutes, and 30 seconds. Yep. 24 hours to get this thing fired up. 24 hours to get this thing fired up. And technically, I guess we could take the last four and a half hours and actually get it driving. But before we cause some real damage, burn down the shop and everything else, I think it's time for us just to call it on this thing. We accomplished part of the task. There's still a lot of things that we need in order to actually be able to drive it for real. So with that being said, we're gonna call it on this thing. That way we can get this video posted for you guys. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, check out that one right there. YouTube thinks that that's the best one for you to watch next. And hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.